and Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog, kicks96country.com. Our guest today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, by the way, the great state of Pennsylvania. We'll get to that. Please welcome uh, Sarah Spicer. How are you? Hello, I'm good. Thank you for having me. This is your debut EP. Yes, it is. New Girl. Okay, yes. so so you are a new girl, but you're not new to Nashville. Um, I guess, well, technically, I guess I'm still kind of new to Nashville. The new hasn't worn off yet. No, right? it has, yeah, it hasn't worn off yet. Yeah, I've, I've been here for about a year and a half, mm -hmm. and I uh, moved from Philadelphia, mm -hmm. but I uh, definitely was in Nashville before moving there, so mm -hmm. yes, Nashville isn't new to me. I've been there uh, quite a few times, and I'm loving it. It's definitely where you have to be if you're doing country music. You have to live and breathe it. All right, well, okay, now you, you mentioned Philadelphia. Uh, are you from, like, Philadelphia proper, or are you from just outside of Philadelphia? Right outside of Philadelphia, yeah. like two minutes from the Philadelphia airport. Okay, so um, you've been singing and writing music since you were at least like what, 11, 12 years old? Yeah. All right, so yeah. was it always country? It was always country because my, my dad is a country artist as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just grew up with it and I started singing when I was four and I started uh, writing probably, I mean, I'm sure I wrote like dumb little songs when I was a kid, but <laughs> my first like legit song that I wrote was when I was 12 years old and I wrote it in an in-school suspension. Um. <laughs> That's where I wrote all my best music, too. <laughs> hey, you get, you get bored. Mm -hmm. I think I was late to class too many times. But I wrote it uh, about my mom, who passed mm -hmm. when I was nine. And it's it was called Heaven's Gate. It was the first, like, real song I wrote. And it's still, like, some of, like my like family and friends like favorite songs so it's kind of cool you know mm -hmm. all right well then um exactly at what point in your life did your journey uh move you to nashville um well yeah I, I guess almost almost two years ago at this point and i'd been talking about it for years with my dad like he kept saying you have to move there you have to move there and i feel like i really did do all that i could have done in my hometown you know and it was a matter of just going for it or just, you know, sitting back and regretting not going for it. Mm -hmm. So I finally said, you know what, I'm just going to move. And I did. And it's been the greatest thing ever. There's been so many things that I've learned. And because you feel like you feel like you know so much and then you get here and it's like mm -hmm. a plethora of things that you don't know. Mm -hmm. And everyone's been so kind, though, and so giving and willing to help, which I was a little nervous about because everyone's here doing the same thing. So I really thought it was going to be super competitive. Yeah. And I'm sure it is to an extent, but really everyone's just so willing to help and so kind. So it's been a great experience so far for well, me. Well, I'm, I'm glad that your um, you're Nashville's welcomed you with open yeah. arms and received you. Talk to us a little bit about the uh, process of getting your EP. So did you immediately start work on this or um, who's who, who, who did you... Uh, end up meeting that that made this possible. Yeah, so um, Heidi Hamels, love her dearly, and um, she owns our label HH Entertainment. And I met her through one of one of my best friends' uh, fathers introduced us. And she first it just started off, hey, um, you know, I need a country artist to you know write with, because she's a great lyricist. And so I I got some lyrics and I. Just, put music to it and turn it into a song and she was like I love it she just kept sending me more and sending me mm -hmm. more and then she was like you know what do you want to go record this in Nashville this is before I moved and I was like uh yeah that's awesome and it just turned into such a bigger thing I thought I was just going to be you know writing songs for her and recording it and then pitching it or whatever and then she was like do you want to you know be like one of my artists and then it turned into a label and we met Lee wow okay. it, I mean it was just amazing like she has been such a blessing in my life and she's such a giving humble and amazing person i couldn't ask for anyone better to be on our team okay so then you and lee gant are label mates. yes all right and yes. you guys actually have collaborated yeah we so, have yeah right? so how is how is that process that's been it's, it's been great well we haven't collaborated no no scratch that what i was about to say you don't know what i was gonna say so it's okay um but no it's been great no, I have to know. I have <laughs> no it wasn't to know. bad it was just stupid so i'm not gonna say it um, we robbed banks. That's what you. <laughs> what we did before we started singing, we robbed. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, him and I have done quite a few duets together, mm -hmm. and our voices just like blend so well mm -hmm. together. And he's just he's like a brother to me. We make fun of each other. It's usually him making fun of me, but I, I can give it. I can dish it back sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but that's okay because he drives me everywhere, and I make him do all the work. So. I'll take getting That's made fun of. To. So, yeah, yeah, I'll take 
I'll take getting made fun of so I can sleep in the car while he drives for three hours. That's fine. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about the EP real quick. Now, the single is Jump. Are all of these songs that you've written or are any of these Yes, blocks? except for Leaving Me, okay. which was written by Lauren Elena and Zach Malloy. And Lauren Elena, um, I'm sure you guys know who she is. <laughs> She's so amazing. She's one of the best vocalists. Mm -hmm. And when my producer brought the song to me, I, you know, I listened to it. There was a few songs that he gave to me that were written by, you know, big artists and I just fell in love with this one and yeah I was just like this is so because it talks about leaving your hometown but not leaving who you are as a person I was like this is perfect for me right now it's perfect for this album because um, I feel like everything on there is just going it talks about going for your dreams and it just talks about being positive during it all so it just fit perfectly all right well the single is jump again by the way if you want to hear it make sure you call us at kicks 96 where do people find sarah spicer on the internet yeah so you guys can follow me on twitter instagram facebook and that's all sarah spicer music and then my youtube channel is just sarah spicer and you can check my website sarahspicer.com for dates and all that but i do i do typically like to post everything on all my socials so you can't really miss it if you follow me on any of those all right, Sarah Spicer, New Girl is the debut EP. The single is Jump. You can hear it on Kicks 96 if you want to call it. Thank you so much, Thank Sarah, you for, for having me. It. Appreciate it. Look for a live performance from her and from her and Lee Gant elsewhere on our channel here. And we'll see you next time on another artist video blog on Kicks96Country.com.